inspirational figure of Tony Mowbray. Yet the Borough stuck in for a draw at Brighton yesterday to haul themselves into second place in the second division table. Brighton have been scrabbling around down at the wrong end of the table and there was promise at the start from Borough, an early corner creating the chance for a Paul Wilkinson header saved under the bar by Brighton keeper Mark Beanie. Then the ball was flashed inches over the bar by Mowbray's replacement Nicky Moen. But Brighton scored first when a throw in down the right wasn't cleared. As the defence back pedalled, Raphael Mead teed up newcomer Mark Gall to blast his shot into the roof of the net. A thundering goal. With 20 minutes left, a double borough substitution. Middlesbrough mounted a persistent fight back after the break and they finally got their reward 18 minutes from time but it took a hotly disputed penalty referee Paul Durkin spotting a handball incident the home side didn't agree but Bernie Slaven just seconds after coming on a substitute settled the argument with his first kick of the game Points saved, the Borough are now two points behind. Leaders Cambridge, they win at Ipswich. And uh, Bernie Slaven comes on as a substitute and uh, scores the uh, point saver, doesn't yeah. he, with his first kick of the match? We dominated the game. They had, you know, they had only had a couple of strikes on their goal, one of which was a good strike. Well, we, we played well, but we lacked incisiveness and quality around their penalty area. The crossing wasn't as good as it should have been. The finishing wasn't as good as it should have been, but we, you know, it would have been an injustice if we hadn't got something out of the game. Although it was a fairly bizarre incident that got us the equaliser, and as you say, Bernie was just had just come on and he's got an equaliser with his first touch. That's typical, but it was no more than we deserved. Although, as I say, it came in a in a strange way. How do you see Bernie fitting into things? Because he seems to be on the bench quite often. Not really. He's only. I mean, he was on the bench that game. He was on the bench at Bournemouth, and that's been the only times, except when he was. Uh, except at the start of the season when he just come back from injury. You know, I mean, at the moment I'm trying to build a squad and, you know, there will be changes and still we, until we start playing better and more consistently away from home, then the team might have to change even if we've won home games because we haven't done enough away from home to warrant leaving the team the same. And, and Bernie fits into that the same as everybody else, but to be fair at the moment he's playing well.